Here's a great example where I think arithmetize might not be the most efficient way to do it, but it's certainly better than nothing, right? So if you are looking at this and you're like, oh my God, there's an A, there's a B, there's a C, there's an X squared, there's a Y squared, there's a lot going on here. I don't know how to deal with this. I do think that arithmetize at least gives you a shot at getting this. Um, there's still some arithmetic to be done. We can go to the calculator if we need to, to help with that. Um, but for many of you who are confident with algebra, you might be able to get this using algebra very, very quickly and confidently. But I would still say if you have time left over in whatever module this question is in, use arithmetize to check it, right? Don't check it with more algebra because if you made an algebra mistake, you're going to make that mistake again. So better off checking it with a new method. So regardless, I'm not going to go through the algebra here. Let's just talk about the arithmetize. And I'll do the algebra at the end. But here's how I would handle this. There's a lot of moving parts. I am going to pick numbers for A, B, and C. I'm not going to pick numbers for X and Y because those are dependent on the A, B, and C. And I'm just going to go in kind of a simple way. I'm going to go um, 0 and 1 and 2. And I'm going to make A 0 mostly because I see in my answer choices that um, – it, it, I, I see in, in the X and the Y that it's it's there for both. And I, I basically, I know that it's going to be a bigger piece of this. So I'd rather kill it and see what happens because the B and the C seem to be the things that matter. So whatever the case, let's go with it, right? So if I do 0 for A and 1 for B, then that means X squared is equal to 1. And I'm not going to bother finding X. I know I could easily, but I'm not going to bother because then I can just put the X squared in here, right? So I, I'm, I'm comfortable with that substitution. If I do the same thing with the C uh, and the Y, we would have 0 plus 2, and that's 2, so Y squared is 2, so there you go. Uh, now I can solve this. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is uh, positive 1. So that's what I'm looking for. Now let's go to the choices. Now again, because A is 0, I have a little bit of an advantage because anything with an A, I can kind of kill right away. So I'm hopefully now just going to focus on these B and C terms, and hopefully that gives me one answer. So let's see. Right, C, we said is 2, so this becomes 2 squared. That's 4, not 1. So that's not right. Uh, 1 is B, so that's 1 squared is 1, minus 2 times 1 times 2, plus 2 squared, right? So... This is where it gets tricky, right? We have a lot of letters flying around, so we gotta keep track of everything. I would definitely be doing scratch paper here. For a lot of arithmetized questions, I can do it all in my head because x is zero and that's all I have to worry about. Here there's too much, so I gotta do it this way. So this becomes one minus four plus four. So the fours are gonna cancel, that leaves me with one. That looks good, I don't know if that's the answer though, but if I continue on, I'm gonna have two squared again, that's four, and this is going to be uh, one squared times 2 squared, so I know I did that inconsistently, but that's going to be still 4, uh, so that still does not work, and that leaves me with B. It's messy, it's messy, but it's certainly, I think, better to get this right in some way, even if it takes you a little bit longer, uh, and as long as you can kind of stay organized, than to give up on a question like this. I would much rather you give up on a question that involves like complicated geometry, because those have a lot more different ways to solve them. Whereas if we have complicated algebra, we kind of, you know, plug points into equations is our main strategy for a reason. We are basically doing that here. We were given a bunch of equations. We made up the points by arithmetizing, but, you know, it, it's still kind of the same way we solve the simpler stuff and other hard stuff that looks completely different. So it's a much more, much more consistent strategy, a much more reliable strategy when things get weird. Let's look at the algebra just because I do think in this case it's, it's worth looking at. We're going to do a basic substitution. We're going to put a plus b in for the x squared and a plus uh, c for the y squared. So we're going to have uh, a plus b minus, and here we got to be careful, a plus c, and that's all squared. So notice there's no squaring of the a plus b within the thing because remember a plus b is x squared. So we're substituting in for x squared, not for x. For x squared, we're not going to deal with the radicals. We don't need to. Now, when we distribute this negative, which is what a lot of people are going to forget, a lot of good things are going to happen. We're going to end up with a dead A, right? Which is why picking zero for it worked out so nicely. It ends up not mattering. So now we have B minus C squared, and we just got to be careful. Remember that that is actually B minus C times B minus C. So we have to FOIL that. So that's going to be B squared minus BC minus BC plus C squared b squared minus 2bc plus c squared. Is that our answer? Yeah.
same thing we got here. So what do you think? I don't know. Put it in the comments. I mean, Obviously, now that you've seen the algebra, that might seem easier, but the, the big question is, would you have seen it? Would you have been able to do that right? So try to be honest with yourself. If you had seen this on the test, the clock is ticking, you're in the hard math module, you gotta get through as many questions as possible, you gotta get as many right as possible. What would you do? Would you arithmetize here and play it safe? Would you try to stare at it? Would you be able to see that algebra? Is the algebra really easy? I am curious, where do people kind of fall here? What's the best strategy in a question like this? I genuinely don't know. I prefer arithmetize because if I feel more confident with it, but I also have a lot more experience with it. Um, and yeah, I know not to trust my algebra. It's just I'm much more likely to make a mistake with algebra than I am with arithmetic.